Okay guys, it's here. Holy Week. And it's the holiest and most sacred week of the entire year. The most sacred part of Holy Week is of course the Triduum. So what is the Triduum? The Triduum begins on the sundown of Holy Thursday and ends with the resurrection on Easter Sunday. It's actually a time when we remember the last three days of Jesus' life on earth, his passion and resurrection. In it we discover something huge, the Paschal Mystery. The Paschal Mystery is the ultimate fulfillment of the Jewish Passover, where the lamb was killed and eaten. And Jesus becomes that spotless lamb when we consume him in the Eucharist. So in a nutshell, the Paschal Mystery is God's plan of redemption for us as sinners through his son's passion and resurrection. To make it easier, let's break it all down. Holy Thursday. So on Holy Thursday, the Last Supper happened, which is basically when Jesus gave himself in the Eucharist. And that's also when the priesthood was instituted. Yep, though that's a really important thing that happened on that day too, and a lot of people forget about it. But he gave himself in the Eucharist, and the priesthood was also instituted on this day. Often on the Holy Thursday Mass, there's a foot washing to remember when Jesus washed his disciples' feet. Another thing you should know is that extra hosts are consecrated in this Mass for Good Friday. The Holy Thursday Mass ends with a procession that takes the Blessed Sacrament to what is called the Altar of Repose, which is basically another place to keep the Eucharist than the usual tabernacle that it's in. Often, there is a Eucharistic adoration that lasts late into the night. Yeah, and since you're not going to be seeing Jesus on Good Friday, it's really important to spend time with Him that day so that you can thank Him for everything and prepare your heart for Good Friday. Good Friday is the day that we remember when Jesus carried the cross and died for us. On this day, we fast and abstain. And a lot of families have things that they do personally, like we dye eggs on this day. Um, From 12 to 3 p.m., we have a quiet hour where we are quiet. Well, quiet three hours. <laughs> quiet three hours. And then we also watch like the Passion of Christ. Not, not the Passion of Christ, but like a play of the Passion of Christ. Yeah. Because we're a younger family. Yeah. <laughs> we watch the passion. But you could do that as a family. We just don't. Good Friday is the only day where there is no Mass. Yeah, it's the only day in the entire year. Only this one day is there's no Mass. There is a communion service, but no Mass. Yeah. The communion service uses the hosts from Holy Thursday, and yeah. there, but there's no consecration. Right. So it's not a celebration of the Mass. It's just a service. Often this service can take place around 3 p.m., which is when Jesus took his last breath, so you can be with him during that time. At this service, you might notice a few things. One, that the altar is bare. Two, that the candle next to the tabernacle is out, which means Jesus is not inside the tabernacle at this time. There is also a veneration of the cross, which is when the priest will hold a cross and then people can come up and venerate it, like kiss it, genuflect before it, whatever they feel is proper. There is also very little music during this service to keep a solemn and reverent feel. Yeah, for our church, we actually don't even end with music. There's no music. It's a silent time. You're quiet and, and you everyone leave. has to be quiet yeah. so that people can pray and just to keep a solemn, sad kind of feel. On Holy Saturday, there's no Mass during the day just to keep the solemn feel because Jesus is in the tomb. But on this evening, there is the Easter Vigil. Which is where we celebrate Jesus' resurrection. Yeah. The Easter Vigil is really long, but it is awesome. It is so joyful when we can all start saying the A word, and mm -hmm. it's just a great way to start Easter off. It's like, it's evening, and it's sad, but then the Mass starts, and then, and then it's happy. And then all of a sudden, it's Easter, I and mean, everyone can celebrate. It's just an amazing Mass, the Easter Vigil. It's really cool. Easter Vigil Mass is divided into four parts. The service of light, which is where we all get candles and we hold the candles. Yep, and then we all get to blow them out, which is so much fun. <laughs> and then there's also the liturgy of the word, the liturgy of baptism, and the liturgy of the Eucharist. Also, those who are going through the RCIA process get confirmed and baptized. And they get their Eucharist. Oh my gosh, this is like seriously the best part because you get to welcome in new members of the church. It's so exciting and they're so happy on this day. It's just 
It's the best. They've been waiting so long. Yeah, and this is like, we get to celebrate Jesus' resurrection. We get to and welcome new members. Yeah, we get to celebrate a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's a celebration. Easter Sunday is what we've all been waiting for. Yep, on Easter Sunday, everyone can come to morning mass and celebrate Jesus' resurrection. It's a huge celebration with the A word also being said a lot, all over the place. A lot you of couldn't say it through the whole Lent. You yeah, you can't say it. it. So you say it a lot mm -hmm. on Easter Sunday. Also, people have like parties and celebrations. They have Easter dinners, Easter breakfasts. Yeah. They have everything. They have Easter brunches. Yeah. Uh, our family goes to two different Easter celebrations yeah. on Easter Sunday. So it's a huge deal. It's the best. <laughs> also on Easter Sunday, people are allowed to have what they gave up and their fasting and everything is over. So after Easter Sunday, you can go back to your normal lives. There's no more like giving up things for Lent because Lent is over. Mm -hmm. That was the Triduum. Yeah, so I hope you guys learned a lot in this video. I mean, we jam packed it for you guys so that we could teach you as much as we could about the Triduum and Easter Sunday. And hopefully we didn't bore you. Yeah, I mean, we try to keep it upbeat for you guys yeah. so that you can be interested and still learn a lot in these videos. If you liked it, subscribe to our channel and like this video and comment below what you'd like us to do next. And we will see you in our next Lent video. Bye! Bye.